Hey guys! Look at this apron my mom got me for my birthday and look at this! I'm so excited. Today we are making pancakes. Not like the dessert pancakes in America, but the Korean vegetable pancakes. Like instead, we use it for like supper instead of dessert. And it has vegetables, mushrooms, like Korean onions, eggs, and a lot more. I'll explain about the ingredients later. And uh, later is right now. Okay, this is half of a teaspoon. This is Korean pancake mix. It's like flour, but it has a bit more flavor. You could use regular flour if you want, but to make it more flavorful, we use Korean pancake mix. We call it puchimkaro. And this is enoki mushroom, also known as the winter mushrooms. It is very chewy when you put it in like soup. Two eggs and two green onions and uh, one pack of enoki mushrooms. If you buy two packs of enoki mushrooms, it's one dollar, 50 cents each pack. And today we are only using one pack. The Korean pancake we're making is very basic. Little girls like me could make it easily, but be careful of the heat. And check out my new hat. It's from Krispy Kreme, but it's super cute. I like it. So let's start. First thing, so like this. Pretend this is a pack in miniature. We cut the enoki mushroom. Let me explain again, just in case you missed it. We cut it into thirds, like one, and then grab the other part and then cut it into two. There, so that's three parts. Keep going until you're finished with all the mushrooms. All of them, I mean all of them. One. Last pack, I think. One, two. Okay, okay, next one. We cut the onions. If you like thick onions, you could just cut them thick. Other one, okay, you bunch them together and then cut. About five more snips and then it's over for this onion. Oh my eyes. Okay, we're done with the scissoring. Now, we add two tablespoons of Korean pancake mix and flour if you want, anything. And if you don't have any flour or Korean pancake mix, you could just add three eggs. Now for the eggs. And then, ooh, ooh, okay, S second egg. I love the color of the yolk, it's so pretty. Wow, I did it perfectly, no eggshells. Salt, half of a teaspoon, okay? All of the half tablespoons on the yolk. Press it down, it looks so yolky, I don't know. Whoa, it's so satisfying. You have to like hold it like this, fist, and then put your thumb up here. And it's better if you smush it a bit because the mushrooms are in bunches. So it's better if you smush it to destroy the bunches. Spread out yolk, flip it over, get with the smushing and you see any bunches, smush them and cut them apart. Okay, I think we're done with the mixing. We just turned this fry pan thingy up. <laughs> you could do any oil except for olive oil. Okay, so it is two tablespoons. It's getting a bit hot. Okay, we're gonna make it a bit round. Like that. And then we put it on and then as soon as it touches there, it will start to sizzle. So try to make it in round. Round as you can. Don't make it too thick or too thin. If it's too thin, it'll rip. And if it's too thick, 
Well, if you like it thick, it's okay, but don't make it too, too thick. Now, let it sizzle for a moment. Let's make another one. But that's a bit too much. About that much. Make it round. Okay, I think that's round enough. I'm making big ones because my baby sister loves these. I'm making big ones for her. Oh, just look at that, sweetie. Press it down a bit if you're impatient. I know, you know. Wow, look at that one, it's rocking. When it sizzles, it's my favorite sound. Okay, I think this one's about ready for flipping, but let's leave it for about 10 more seconds. Man, this one looks good. Okay, let's get it to flip it. And then, get it. Ooh, wow. I think this one's ready too. Wow. This one's going along perfectly. Now, for the perfect flip. Whoa, oh, this one's burnt a little bit. Perfecto. Wow, it's still sizzling on the plate. Now, let's make some new ones. Okay, Is that over there. I think we only got enough to make about six or five. <laughs> Let's see. Perfecto. Just kidding. Wow. My pancakes look delicious. This is how they look. This one's a bit overcooked, but it looks good. This one's a bit soft and this one's a bit crunchy. We are making a special sauce. It's not only for this, you could use it for tofu, dumplings, and anything. First thing we need is one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, and then we put it in there. One teaspoon of vinegar. Yeah, it stinks. You have to be careful. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. Okay, two teaspoons. Now, if you like salty stuff, you don't. You could add a little water. I am gonna add three teaspoons. One, two, three. Okay, and then I guess we mix. Wow, it's very satisfying. Sauce is done. Now we'll have the judges over. I'm nervous, so nervous. Okay, we are gonna get the judges. Well, there's only one judge. Okay, here she comes. This is my baby sister, Ari. <laughs> okay, I am very nervous. Let me rip that for you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's, this one's soft. Because your baby teeth is still growing, I made it a bit soft for you. Do you go ahead in the sauce and try it? Not too much, it's a bit salty. It's hot? Yay! How much percent? 99. 99? Let me try. It's good. This is very basic and easy. And make sure you love Korean food. If you don't, I'm not judging you, but if you do, that's great. So I'll see you next time. Bye.